For many in West Africa, the heavy rains of recent months have brought catastrophic floods. But in Senegal's usually parched north, they're praising the heavens. Thank God, this year we have grass. Herders like Fari So are not used to unexpected benefits in the Sahel, a region whose semi-arid prairies stretch eastwards from Senegal through some of the world's poorest countries. But satellite data shows recent downpours have created some of the thickest vegetation in years, a vital respite for Senegal's farmers and the three million strong herding communities following successive droughts. You see, this grass is still fresh at this time of year. Last year, during the same period, grass was already dry and there was not a lot of it. That's meant those cattle are the fattest they've been in recent memory, and other sectors have also benefited. Grain's output is expected to jump over 30% this year, prompting Senegal to reverse its economic outlook from contraction to growth. But the herder's good fortune also indicates an unpredictable climate. Scientists say the region is becoming hotter, but that dramatic climate swings year to year make it difficult to predict what Senegal should prepare for in the long term. On the Doli Ranch, So joined 67-year-old Jubiru Carr for some tea. The older man says he worries what the future has in store for younger herders. God is making human beings face an existential crisis. We don't know what tomorrow will be made of. The fears are real. Across the Sahel, two-thirds of the population depends on farming or herding. But beyond Senegal, many have not been able to reap the benefits of the abundance of vegetation. Conflict across Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger has cut off access to farms and displaced communities, contributing to the worst food crisis in a decade. Senegal has escaped the violence, but the predicted hotter dry seasons will mean water resources dwindle more quickly. And some herders fear their way of life may also be drying up.